Yeah, Susan, I'm here on the uh, Sony Pictures lot here in Culver City, and yes, it has been quite the evening. It actually started around 1 o'clock in the early afternoon and continues to go on, as you can see behind me. You've heard the phrase, you got to keep a good thing going. That's exactly what Super Agent Lee Steinberg has been able to do. Believe it or not, this is the 35th year in a row that Steinberg has hosted his own Super Bowl party. It brings together folks from all walks of life, athletes, other sports uh, figures. You have people from the entertainment industry, businessmen, leaders of business, people from the tech world, all of them coming together to network and discuss what's ahead for the big game coming up Sunday at SoFi Stadium. But you know, it also includes a charitable endeavor. And this year, it's the Lantern Network. Uh, the Lantern Network is actually a group that helps mentor young black Americans to help them fulfill their future, to be ready, to exceed their talents, and really, really have an opportunity to have success in the future. But there was also plenty to do here, a variety of artists with their work on display, a wide selection of food and drinks to sort through, even a few special appearances from some of your favorite characters. It didn't matter the age, everyone was having a great time. Now this year's party, the theme is the power of storytelling. So I asked the host, how has he been able to throw such a great event for so long? And does he recall one particular story from over the years? In 1992, we held it on the back lot of 20th Century Fox. It was the Hello Dolly set. Rupert Murdoch led us to it. So everything has come full circle. It feels like redemption and resurrection. So this would be like 4,000 of my closest friends uh, coming together, but for good causes. Well, obviously, it it grew exponentially, and you know, I grew up a Ram fan, and my dad took me to the Coliseum. But I fell in love with football, and then I was head of Save the Rams uh, in '94, where we fought really hard to keep them. So this is all redemption. So to have another motion picture studio uh, where we film part of Jerry Maguire is just wonderful. Yeah, the thing I love about it is just seeing a lot of people that you haven't seen all year long. Uh, getting a chance to catch up, things like that, and uh, and Lee always has a, uh, a meaning behind this party where he has you know, something to do with head concussions, or, or you're going to learn, you're going to learn something about uh, life when you come out of this party. It's not just to come here and drink and have a good time. And in addition to everything you saw there, you also get an opportunity to bid on some incredible memorabilia out here at the Sony Pictures lot. Uh, you see that is last year's, a replica of last year's Lombardi Trophy. Of course, it was Tom Brady and the Buccaneers beating the Kansas City Chiefs. But all in all, all smiles, a lot of laughs. You can see people are having a great time. And as you heard Lee Steinberg say, all for a good cause. 35 years, Susan, he's been able to do this. And you don't get the hint at all that he's going to be slowing down anytime. Soon. Reporting from the Sony Pictures lot here in Culver City, Mark Rogandino, Fox 11 News.